Hey guys, it's Vance Logic. Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. In the last part, we actually started off this Let's Play, and we figured out stuff about Oracle of Ages and all that crap. And in this part, we're gonna be going here into the ring shop to get all the rings back from Oracle of Seasons. Good to see you, blah blah blah, you actually know us, and we get our level 1 ring box. Right now, we have no rings, but I got the password from Oracle of Seasons to actually get our rings back. Just gotta talk to the red, red snake and say, say a secret. And here's the password if you guys actually want those rings. It's uh, slash g, uppercase g, lowercase q, equal sign, and then this, so it'll make me frowny face and all that, I guess. Okay, triangle, lowercase w, a, lowercase w, uppercase w, exclamation part, mark. This, close parentheses, d, I think this is a club or spade. And R. Mm, okay, I brought your rings from Hollow Trim, so we could just talk to Vasu and get our rings back. <clears throat> Hell yeah. So, red ring, sword damage times two. Of course, I'm going to start it with that, and let's equip that right now. Alright, now to make our way to the Maku Tree. Fully equipped, for the most part. <laughs> Alright, as you guys saw the thing... Hang on, I'm going to show you guys right there. <laughs> I just skipped it. As you guys see, there's a barricade right here, and unfortunately you can't show a sign of courage right here, so you actually have to go through this path right here, the Maku Road. So let's just, it's just very linear, you can't really go much else except up, so make your way up. Not much to say there. And we just make your way up here, go up these stairs, and there's the Maku Tree, the female of the Maku Tree. Pleased to meet you, young hero, I am the Maku Tree, guardian of Labrina. Baron Sorceress the Shadows has taken Nairu, the Oracle of Ages. She's disrupting the flow of time from the past. She's trying to flood this world with the power of sorrow. We cannot give in to one of impure heart. You must stop Baron, and soon. But to stop her, you'll need something. The hell? Ah. Okay, I always thought she was organizing when she said, did that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I feel so weird. I'm vanishing. Something must be happening to me in the past. Help! The f Holy crap, the first mention of death in the Zelda series. Nah, I'm kidding. Ha! <laughs> the Maku Tree? This is more of Varen's work. Link, you made it. Varen Leaf just left through this time portal. If we go back in time, we should be able to save Nairu and the Maku Tree. I'm coming, Nairu! And he mentioned just left in there? She left in there like last part! And we just walk in here, and we're going back to the past! Not to play the shitty games that suck ass. Okay, yep. Angry video game nerd inference. I am so screwed. Another one? First that guy with the weird hat appears, then you. Ever since that girl Nairu came, there's been all sorts of weird goings on. Okay. Do I look like a give a damn? I'm here to fucking go through a quest. God damn it, and then you just walk through here. And then you guys could go through Maka Road, but unfortunately this thing is blocking your path, so you need a shovel in order to get to there. You talk to their village full of extra dirt from the tower. Yep. Goddamn tower. And anyway, we you just gotta make your way over here to the bottom left of the Lin of Right here, this is Lin of Village, I think. Not Villa uh, Lin of City, I think. Yeah. The one in the per in the present time is Lin of City and this is Lin of Village. Entry to the build blah 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 the tower being built by Queen Ambi. At first, this tower is being built to guide Queen Ambi's love safely back from the sea. But ever since Nairu came, the sun sits high in the sky as if time itself is stopped. It's not like Queen Ambi to push us so hard. In the village, they started calling it the Black Tower. And the lightning just showed up right there and was like, ah, evil Black Tower. You can look around, but the construction has some areas closed. If you hang around too much, though, you might get yelled at. And he gets out of our way. You guys see that piece of heart being blocked off? So we just make our way in here. The Black Tower. Anyway, you just... You don't have to talk to anyone here. You just gotta make your way to where I'm going. Trying to save you much as much of the time as possible. And so I can get more of this Let's Play out of the way soon, as soon as possible. And then you just go down here and talk to this one guy. Huh? A digging tool? That's the Spirit Sunny. Here, you can have this shovel. Can you use the shovel to move that dirt out of the way? And our first item, other than the sword and shield. You got the shovel and start digging. 
We're working hard on this tower. Help us out. Nah, no, no, I'm good. I'm just using you for my own purpose. Thanks for the shovel, though. Anyway, now you can dig through all that crap and a shortcut back to the outside. And then you can just go over here and the first and easiest piece of heart to get in the game. Once you get the shovel, just dig right there and piece of heart. Easy. Anyway, we just make your... Let's make our way back up here. And let's make our way to Maku Road one more time. And this time without any dirt and getting in our way. I'm actually in a dick for shit. Alright, I found some hearts. Even though I don't really need them right now. Five rupees! Hell yes! Anyway, let's make our way up here. Come on. Walk faster, Link. And here it is. The Maku Road of the Past. This one's a lot... Definitely more puzzle-oriented than the first one. <laughs> then again, it's really basic puzzles, so you just move this block out of the way. And you can kill stuff here, too. On the left, there's a key... Uh, yeah, there's. it's locked by a key, so you just gotta... Hey! Get the fuck off me! There we go. Then you just make your way up here. Push this block out of the way. Go to, over to the right. Hey! Great, I can't go through any beginning, not really a dungeon dungeons, without falling into pits. And when you just move those blocks out of the way, touch that switch right there to make that chest appear. Walk your way all the way back to the left, to the left path. Come on, walk faster, Link. And you get a small key, I'm just gonna do this. Thank you, shortcuts. And then you just make your way back here into this room with the locked door. And use the key. And for this part, you just gotta do this. Move these blocks out of the way, and then push that. And right here is some Stalfos, I think. I think that's their official name. You can push this block up, push this one left. And a second piece of art already! Making a lot more progress than Oracle of Seasons. Pieces of hearts. Anyway, you just make your way over here, and walk up these stairs. Hey, it's the Maku Tree of the Past! Wee, this is the guy Varen was t talking about. It's not a guy. Get him! <laughs> no, no, leave me alone! And you walk over here. What's with you? Keep clear! And you can just kill them all. So, yeah. Wow, you're so daring and cool. Nah, nah, I'm not. Thank you, who are you? Link, what a nice name. I'm the Maku Tree. You were brave. They said the Oracle of Ages convinced Queen Ami to build a black tower. Maybe she made them attack me. Thank you for rescuing me. I will never, ever forget it. And I promise I'll repay you when I grow up. This is about all I can do. Aha! And now that path opens for both past and present. Remember, I will repay you when I grow up. Be sure to come see me. Uh, no, no I'm good. I'm just gonna walk away now. Dear, um, uh, when I grow up, I'm going to be your bride. Ah, I said it! Walking away now. <laughs> You, know, you just make your way right here, the little portal showed up right here. Walk into it and make your way back to the present. I don't know why it was activated without us doing anything, but who cares? Anyway, let's make our way up here and talk to the Maku Tree. Ugh, it's weird. It all seems so foggy. I'm forgetting so much. Oh, you're, you're, you're Link Link! Oh my god. Why are you here now? I've been waiting so long for you. Don't you remember hundreds of years ago? God damn, you're old. Link, you promised! When I grow up, I'll marry you. That's what you said, Link. 400 years I waited. Oh god, you're crazy. I knew you wouldn't forget about me. Our hearts are bound across time by a thread of... What? That's not why you're here? Why won't you listen to me? Because I'm trying to do a quest here! Fine, you want to talk about Varen, right? Maybe Varen is using Queen Ambi to raise the tower to the heavens. If one of Impure Heart gains the powers of Shadow, this world will be covered in darkness. That's what this is about. To know the past is to know the present. Vern can do as she pleases if she finds dark power in the past. All will go dark. Link, you must stop Varen and save now. <clears throat> Goddamn throat. Must I say it again? Oh, hell no. I don't recall, but I think you need the eight essences of time hidden in Labrina to beat Varen. The essences hold the power to see the truth, and they hold my memory. You won't beat Varen if you can't see the truth. With the time of flow of time disrupted, my memory is fading. What will we do? I'm at a loss. But if you find the essences, I'll remember everything. And you'll be able to stop Varen. Please do this, Link. 
First, I want you to go to Yol Graveyard in the east. I hear the first essence there. I can't do much, but take this. Aw, oh, damn, seed satchel! The ember seeds in the seed satchel will offer light in dark places and burn small trees from your path. Sweet. Alright, let's make our way out here and go down this path. This is, doesn't lead you anywhere, but if you just pull out your ember seeds, burn this tree. If you weren't playing a Link game, this would help. 30 rupees, and you could use that to get a shield. If you didn't, are, if you were using a Link game, you don't really need it. But anyway, let's make our way through this. There's going to be a little shortcut right here. And crap, I'm running out of time already. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way too. Ha! <laughs> Anyway, I'm just I'm actually just gonna stop it here, so next time on Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, we're gonna make our way to the first dungeon in Yol Graveyard, so see you guys then.